Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm proud to present the San Remo U. The San Remo U represents some of the most advanced technology available in home espresso today. San Remo is a company that has been really pushing the advancement of espresso machines for some time now. Both in terms of technology, this machine is packed full of it, and also in design. The machine has a beautiful compact design that will look amazing in any kitchen. In this video, we'll do an overview of the San Remo's main features, and I'm also going to demonstrate the machine by making several sets of drinks. The San Remo U is a dual boiler machine. That means we have a separate boiler for coffee production and for steam production. The coffee boiler is 500 milliliters, and the steam boiler is one liter. Now, one liter boiler might seem a little bit small for what we're used to uh, with machines in this price range, However, that was a deliberate engineering choice made by San Remo. The boiler, despite its smaller size, uh, just keeps working. I was not able to drain the steam out of this machine. It's able to make drink after drink after drink without any difficulty at all. Both boilers are made out of AISI 316 stainless steel, which is a very high grade of stainless. And the machine is powered using a, a special gear pump. This is a new pump from Fluido Tech that allows us to have a pressure profiling. So the way it works is you have a normal rotary pump and the motor is a multi-speed motor. So the motor will change its speed and once we're making drinks, you'll hear that motor because there's a different sound that it makes uh, when it's spinning faster or slower. What that allows us to do is that we can vary the pressure that we extract our espresso at. The machine I have right here in front of me is the white one, but this is also available in black. The San Remo U uh, can be run as a pour over machine or it can be plumbed directly into your water main. The water tank is just hidden back here at the top. There's a little door that opens right there. You can pour your water in from a jug. Uh, it's a uh, wide opening, so that's easy to do. But like I said, the machine can also be plumbed into a water source. That way you don't have to worry about filling the tank. On the left hand side here, we have the hot water wand. Now the hot water wand on the U is I think one of the best in class. It not only features a mixing valve, so you don't get that steaming hot water like we do with some machines that's you know really, really hot, too hot for an Americano. Uh, you're able to adjust the temperature. It mixes cold water with that hot water so you can get the temperature that you like. But in addition to that, it also has a dosing feature. So we can program in seconds how long we uh, dispense water for, and that's really awesome. You'll see that when I'm making an Americano. On the right hand side here, we have the steam wand. It's a very long, straight steam wand, uh, uh, very much like you'd see in a commercial machine. And it's actuated using just the on, and off function. That's not a, a valve, it's just a switch. Since this is a dual boiler machine, we have full control over our steam pressure. I've got mine set to 1.5 bars. It comes from the factory set higher than that, but I find for smaller quantities of milk, it's, it's too much power, it's too hard to control, so I have mine set at 1.5 bars. The drip tray is a uh, fairly large surface, gives you a lot of room to work. One thing I'll say, this is an aesthetic choice, uh, the, the drip tray here is rounded, so sometimes if you have water that pools up, it can uh, come off of this, but I do think that it's worth it because the aesthetics of it are quite attractive. The portafilter that's on this machine is a dual spout portafilter, uh, but machines that are ordered from I Drink Coffee will include a dual spout and also a bottomless portafilter right inside the box. In addition to that, we're also including competition baskets. So these are high quality IMS baskets that will be inside the box as well. And of course, the shower screen is also the IMS competition shower screen. So everything you get is uh, right inside the box. It's all top of the line. Now for the exciting part, the use incredible intuitive interface. So here we have the paddle and we use this in order to extract shots if we want to manually. Uh, the distance from the right to the left represents different amounts of pressure. So uh, we can begin to ramp up the pressure, we can ramp it down, we can do whatever we like. If you want to extract a shot manually, that's done using the paddle. And up here we have the amazing touchscreen interface. You know, we sell a lot of espresso machines and uh, sometimes some of these Italian made machines, the uh, interfaces have been, for the lack of a better word, uh, lacking. Um, the, they're not that intuitive, they're not that well made, but San Remo has really done an amazing job on this. The screen is easy to use, uh, it's responsive, and it looks really great. It's uh, designed in such a way that I think fits with the machine really nicely, and it's a real pleasure to use. 
So here we have the uh, home screen of the San Remo U and this is where we control uh, all of our options and the first thing that you'll notice of course is the temperature of the coffee boilers and the pressure inside the steam boiler. So I'm just going to press that coffee boiler. I have my coffee boiler set to 90.5 degrees Celsius. This is programmable within one tenth of a degree uh, which is extraordinarily accurate and you can see the reading um, changes and that's the current temperature that the boiler is at. The range is quite tight. Uh, it's usually within um, I would say half a degree Celsius which is, which is quite remarkable. And just to the right of that we have the pressure inside the steam boiler. I have it set to one and a half bars but you can program that all the way up to two bars if you want more pressure. Uh, these, this kind of circular graph underneath also just represents that temperature. You have the coffee ring on the outside and the steam on the inside. But below that the one, two and three this is what we're going to be interacting with the most often I think. And that and of course in the manual paddle. Those three bu buttons represent our three recipes that are preset. The way we control what those buttons represent is just by pressing this middle button up here and here we have the profile mapping. So we can map button one, two and three with whatever profiles that we like. You can see what I have is I have a custom profile one, custom profile two, standard profile five. I haven't named them yet but of course you can change those names to your liking. I want to point out the volumetrics. This machine does have very precise volumetric dosing. So my custom profile one is set to 110 milliliters of water and that's for a double shot. Now of course that's not the amount of coffee that we're going to get inside our cup uh, because more, more water is used during extracting an espresso than actually ends up in the cup. Of course a lot of water is absorbed inside the coffee. Uh, some of the water is diverted using, with the overpressure valve but it's set in the actual amount that's delivered. So the way you would program this uh, to uh, your desired settings is, is really with a, with a scale is, is, is what I would recommend so you get the exact amount in your cup that you want. But it's very simple to change. I can change in one milliliter uh, increments uh, very simply but I'm going to leave it at 110 because that's what I have this dialed in at. After the profile mapping I'd like to show you the how we change and adjust our profile. So we go into the menu and then into the extraction profiles. The machine has six standard profiles that are put there by San Remo which we cannot change but where it's very interesting is our custom profiles which are down here and we have 12 of those. So I'm going to be working with custom profile one. I'd like to show you what I have. Uh, this is the, the kind of the graph of the extraction and this is how we adjust it. So we have three settings for the shop. The first one is our pre-infusion and you can see what I've done here. I've put a very long pre-infusion. It's a 20 seconds at only one bar and what I was trying to do when I created this profile is to mimic uh, you know what's in the industry called a Slayer style shot with an extremely long pre-infusion and that's what I've done and actually uh, uh, works quite well and yields really tasty results. So after my pre-infusion I have my infusion stage and I have that set at nine bars so the coffee will extract at nine bars. You can set this to uh, you know really whatever you like. If you want to lower the pressure of the extraction you can do that or you can also go higher if that's your desire. And then the final uh, is the the final stage is the post infusion and this is a feature that you don't find in many machines. Pre infusion uh, you know is fairly standard but the post infusion is quite interesting as well. So what we will do for the final 10 milliliters of the extraction we're going to lower the pressure down to five bars and the machine does this all automatically as my custom profile one and we can um, customize up to 12 of these and we can also name all of these profiles. In order to change the name I'm going to do that because custom profile one is too generic. I'm just going to go back to this screen here and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to put long pre-infusion. And that's saved for next time so I know what my recipe is and like I said you have 12 of those to play with. Really the possibilities are almost endless. Before I start making shots I'm going to point out some of the other features just very quickly that this machine has. Uh, 
the machine has app connectivity, so a lot of these uh, uh, changes that I'm making can also be done on your phone through the app. However, everything can be done through this screen, so it doesn't have to be connected to the app if you don't want to. All of the variables can be changed using this touch screen. Uh, the main menu has uh, you know, several kind of uh, basic options like languages. You can change the language of the machine, the time and date. You have the Wi-Fi uh, setting. Uh, the extraction profiles is what I just showed you where we set our recipes. The download upload feature allows us to save our recipes to a USB and then we can upload those to another San Remo U. So if you have a friend with the same machine, you can easily share those recipes as well. Scrolling down, we have the wash setting. The wash setting is a automatic back flush. Uh, so uh, we would uh, use that if we're cleaning the machine. Uh, the paddle settings is quite neat as well. This allows us to set the maximum pressure of the paddle. So some people only want to go to nine bars. So we would set this down to nine. Uh, that means the, when I go all the way to the left to the maximum uh, position of the paddle, it goes to nine bars. However, I like to mess around. I like to sometimes go beyond nine bars. So I have my machine set at 12. And then there you have things like energy savings, uh, counters list. Counters basically tells you how many shots you've made with the machine. Alarms log, that's used for diagnostics. And uh, system info, parameters and login. The login is used for technicians if they need to access a certain features of the machine. The last feature I wanted to point out is the uh, timer feature of the San Remo U. It's really well done on this machine um, because what it allows us to do, it allows us to set more than one time slot per day, uh, which is uh, which is quite quite useful. Uh, so, for example, you could have the machine uh, Monday to Friday power on, let's say at 6 a.m. and then power off at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, so it gives you that ability to make uh, your coffee in the morning. And then maybe you, you like to have a drink uh, once you come back from work or, or in the afternoon and you can set another time slot. Uh, that's very useful and it's also, it can come down to uh, the day of the week. So if your schedule changes, for example, on the weekends, uh, you can do all that. Uh, it's very easy to program right here through the touchscreen interface. So now let me demonstrate the San Remo U and make some coffee. Uh, the first uh, set of espresso shots I'm going to make, I'm going to use that custom profile I told you about, uh, the long pre-infusion. Alongside the San Remo U, I'm using the Malconic E65 grind by weight grinder. I have it set to 18 grams. Uh, this combo here, uh, particularly in the white, I really love the way the white looks. Uh, is, is just sensational. You have world-class espresso right in the comfort of your home uh, by pairing these two products together. I mean, Malconic really is the king of grinders. This is definitely one of my favorites, uh, very precise. I have it set to 18 grams and that's what it delivers each time. San Remo does include a tamper along with the U. It's a branded tamper. They also include a stainless steel frothing pitcher with the San Remo logo as well. So I'm going to put my portafilter in, place my cups, and I'm going to press that one button. And the screen changes, it shows us what's happening. So on the top left, we have how many milliliters of water have already been delivered. Uh, so it's, at, uh, it's slowing down now quite a bit because the pressure is quite low. Uh, we have our temperature, we have our extraction time, we're at 15 seconds right now. At 20 seconds, the machine will begin to ramp up to our nine bars of pressure, and that's what it's doing right here. Now, the way this machine will work, the way this extraction works, is it will continue extracting like this until it reaches the post-infusion phase, which is set for the last 10 milliliters. So that will kick in at 100 milliliters of extraction. And now at 100, the pump goes down to five bars for that last 10 milliliters or post infusion. Now you can see this shot took 57 seconds, which is uh, longer, of course, than we would normally extract um, an espresso uh, for. However, with that really soft and long pre infusion, um, it's, uh, it's going to give us uh, a different result. I'm going to taste it right now and let you know what I think. So the coffee is actually quite lovely. Uh, I got really nice um, bright notes. Um, however, a lot of times when we extract, when we over extract a coffee, you know, if, if I were to extract a coffee for 
almost 60 seconds using a traditional machine, uh, the coffee would be honestly undrinkable, would be so bitter. Uh, but here with that soft uh, pre-infusion, we're able to coax uh, kind of uh, new and exciting flavors out of our coffee. And this is what this makes this machine really special. It gives us that ability uh, to really experiment to get the very most out of the coffee. For the next drink, I'm gonna make a, another uh, round of espressos, but this time I'm gonna show you the manual function of the machine. So remember, I have my paddle set to go all the way up to 12 bars. And what I'm actually gonna try to do uh, to the best of my ability is um, mimic uh, a lever style shot. So a lever style shot, we usually pull the lever all the way down, let it pre-infuse at a low pressure. Uh, then as the lever is closed, it begins opening, we have a, a high pressure. So we go up to about 12 bars and slowly as the lever opens, the spring opens, that pressure continues to decrease, eventually going to zero. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna start my pre-infusion right here. And you can see, so I have it at, uh, my paddle set points at 2.3 bars. I'm gonna let that run for, you know, maybe another couple of seconds. And then I'll go all the way to 12. And you hear the pump, of course, uh, spinning faster. So uh, the higher the pressure, the pump is gonna be louder. And I'm gonna begin kind of decreasing it slowly. You know, as the spring kind of opens. And stop it there. Let's give this one a try here. This was a 45 second extraction. I'll tell you, <laughs> I don't have uh, um, uh, high expectations of this one. I thought it would be over extracted. There's less brightness in uh, than the original shot. I would describe it as, as tamer, less complexity than, than the previous shot. It's certainly not uh, as objectionable as I had feared. The next drink that I'm gonna prepare is an Americano. And I had mentioned earlier the programmability of the hot water wand. So I have a program to this cup it's going to deliver 10 seconds of water uh, and the temperature is uh, hot but not uh, you know that sputtering super hot steam you get from some machines i like to do my americanos of course with water first and the profile that i'm going to use is two and that's custom profile two uh, this is a little bit more of a traditional profile so we have a, uh, a pre-infusion uh, of about five seconds at three bars then our extraction at nine bars, and then a 15 milliliter post infusion at five bars. So this is uh, you know, very common what you would see with machines like a Seneso, for example, that has that three stage pressure profiling where you would have uh, pre-infusion using line pressure, then the extraction, and then lowering the pressure towards the end. There we go, Americano that's ready to drink. And I really have to say, once again, how much I like that water programming feature. Uh, you can get the same result each time, and it's fantastic. The next drink that I'm gonna make is a milk-based drink, a latte. I'm gonna give my wand just a quick purge. I'm gonna be using the same profile I did previously, just a standard kind of uh, pre-infusion profile. And uh, profile two, I'll begin extracting there and frothing my milk at the same time. Now this long wand allows you to uh, froth even large amounts of milk. If you have a large pitcher, uh, you can easily froth even a liter of milk if that's what you wanted to do. Just stop it right there. Wipe the wand. Give it a small purge. And then add my milk.
and I probably won't have enough milk for a full latte, but uh, making milk-based drinks is uh, simple and quick. I've now had the opportunity to use uh, quite a few pressure profiling machines over the years, and a lot of times uh, in my videos I've said that uh, these machines are not for everyone, and I still do stick by that. The machine is geared towards uh, tinkerers, uh, people who are interested in uh, in change, in uh, trying to push the boundaries of what's possible uh, with coffee to try and get the very most out of it. Now when you do that, you can uh, achieve incredible results, but also one of the downsides is that uh, you get inconsistency. Uh, sometimes with a pressure profiling machine, um, you can use the exact same profile, but if your coffee's changed, uh, if it's oxidized a little bit from day to day, or if the humidity has changed, you can get different results. And that can be frustrating for some. Just because you have the ability to change a lot of these variables, to change the pressures, doesn't always mean that the results are going to be that fantastic. However, if you are willing to put in the time and you are willing to put in the effort to experiment and uh, try and gain an understanding of how uh, uh, pressure and temperature relates to the extraction of coffee, the San Remo U is capable of delivering some of the best results that you'll ever taste, whether it's on a home or commercial machine. The machine itself is a, a platform and a tool to experiment and to uh, really tinker with your coffee. If you're the type of person that's interested in uh, this sort of gadgetry, this sort of technology, the San Remo U really is the perfect choice. Uh, as of this filming, I cannot think of an espresso machine that's more fully featured on the home market uh, today than the San Remo U. If you have any questions about the San Remo U, the Malconic E65 grind by weight, or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about espresso machines, about coffee machines, coffee grinders, everything to do with coffee. Thanks for watching and have a great day.